So I'm, I might as well blow off some steam while I can because I'm not going to forget about this or be relaxed until I blow this off. So I just uploaded a new video, right? You can see it on the channel. I, just, I broke DDLC Beyond Repair. And it as this is a two hour, nearly two hour video. I spent all of the past couple of days editing, censoring, doing this, doing that, right? Doing some quality edits to make sure, you know, you, you can probably hear it right now, right? Me breathing, me all this nonsense. I'm not going to edit this video, obviously, because it's just a off-the-cuff rant. But I've done all these edits. I've improved myself, etc., etc., just for this video to immediately hit with a claim. And the thing is, the thing is, I'm not even... I'm not even mad inherently about the claim because there's a bunch of memes and nonsense in that video. So I'm like, okay, if uh, if one of them want to claim it, okay, whatever, right? The claim was revenue share. But here, here's why I'm mad. Here's, here's the problem. The one piece of content in that video I know for a fact who owns. I can verify and almost readily availably contact for a fact I know who owns are the ones this copyright troll is deciding to use to steal the revenue of my video. Again, the revenue was probably like two cents, so congratulations, you get a penny, but out of principle, and to make sure this doesn't happen to other, or to be able to help other people who upload DDLC videos, and myself, because I am planning to upload more DDLC videos. I have some funny ideas. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm fighting this. Right, and a simple Google search for who owns it straight up just shows, yeah, they've been falsely claiming people for other stuff that I'm pretty sure one no, I know 100% have not been associated with Dan Salvato. So, yeah, they claimed your reality from Doki Doki Literature Club, owned by Dan Salvato, owned by Team Salvato, and he has gone on record saying that hey, we're the only ones that own this. Sometime, right, and there have been multiple cases of companies claiming videos or people who have uploaded covers, having their videos put in content ID and getting everyone else's claimed. So, here's the thing. The fact that this has happened before, you, like, I know I know this is video 1,365 about, oh, you, you YouTube's copyright system is broken. I've been around here for, like, what, 10? I've been on YouTube for 10 years. I've seen every single month I see a video about, oh, YouTube's copyright system is broken. YouTube's this, that. That, but the, I've this. This is genuinely that I can't get over this. But the fact that I'm here, a drop in an ocean of like 300 billion people claiming to have copyright problems on YouTube and nonsense like this is still happening, especially after this specific song and this the songs associated with this game have had Team Salvato themselves had to deal with people claiming to falsely own them. The fact that this is still happening makes this absolutely absurd. Okay, so I'm interjecting here because there has been a recent development. The plot has thickened. So it actually showed me something. YouTube Studio showed me something on my phone. It didn't show me on my PC being that who actually sings the song, right? It did show me who, quote unquote, is claiming to own it. But the actual singer of the song is someone that wasn't even associated with the original song or project whatsoever. So I YouTube, right? I search on YouTube the name of the song and the artist. And it turns out, can you guess? Can you guess what it is? It's a cover of a song they don't own. So I'm double in the if if it was a 99% chance before it's a, it's a 110% chance that this is absolutely a fraudulent claim. This is insane. This should not be happening whatsoever. I'll put it up on screen. I may censor the name just so I don't want to bring unnecessary attention to them because I don't think this person who made the cover is at fault for this. But it, yeah, this this is this is stupid. And something is telling me that the company saying they own the song isn't associated with either parties. So they are claiming. So let me make, get this straight. A song in a video, they are claiming to own a song in a video which was not used, which they don't even own in the first place. How? how, how? And the prop and it's not just the problem with this specific case. The options I see in YouTube for dealing with this are bad. Like, first of all, I have to wait 30 days? I have to wait 30 days for the claim to be released? Are you serious? And I don't even get a specific option for saying that, hey, the, pe the, pur the, people, claim the, purple. the people claiming to own this video or this music or whatever is completely false. No, 
No, I don't get any specific option saying that. Even though you Google the name of the company claiming to own this and there's already a history of them falsely claiming. Like, how? 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 Again, I've been on YouTube and I've been watching YouTube for even longer, for a pretty long time. And I've heard people repeat this line over and over again. But it really does feel like this system is made to completely disadvantage the creator. And again, it's 2023. Heck, it's almost 2024. In 60 days, it'll be 2024. Right? We even have a new YouTube CEO. This this, uh, this shouldn't be a problem. So, I, the, only, the only real option I have at this point is to sit on it, see what happens. Right? If, if this troll gets brazen enough to straight up say that they still own the video, I'll actually have, I'll be forced to contact. Again, they make... Again, Team Salvato makes it pretty easy to contact them. I don't know what the return time on a message will be, but I'm pretty sure I can get some sort of statement out of them. They're an indie development team. So if if this goes south, then I know I can I can dispute this. But then again, you with how creators who deal with copyright issues, I wouldn't be surprised if Team Salvato themselves gave me the clear. And YouTube still wouldn't do anything about it. And the funny thing is, is that when it comes to this copyright system, YouTube YouTube completely puts themselves out of it, right? I can't tell YouTube, hey, this is a false claim. No, oh, oh, it's between you and the copyright claimant. Why? Why? It's through your platform. So, the video, I'm not sure if having a dispute or having copyright sharing or any type of stuff like that affects its reach but i'll in case you want to support in case you want to give it a quick look i'll put it in the description but yeah it's kind of it's insane it's insane that i have to put up with and again the only reason i'm ranting about this or disputing this is because i know who made who owns the song and can verify and i'm capable of contacting them and there's a 99.999 percent chance that it's not this entity claiming to own it because but again I'll probably only earn, earn like two cents off of that video, but it's it's about the principle. And again, I am, I've said that too many times, but I am planning to make more content around DDLC, but uh, if I, I, I can't keep having this happen if I do. I have to nip it in the bud right here. So even if, even if I didn't do this off of principle, it would end up biting me in the eye Ugh. later. So yeah, yeah, I'll get over it. I'll, I'll get through it. Uh, subscribe, I guess.